So Raw, speaking of CM Punk, opened up with a segment involving Punk. Drew McIntyre first came out, and he talked about a number of things. The title match with Seth. He said, for a while there, I thought maybe I need to step away from WWE for a while. But then I thought about it, and I realized, you know what? I didn't lose. I didn't screw up. Damian Priest screwed up when he tried to cash in. He says, Damian, why did you try to cash in during the match? Why didn't you wait until the match was over, and I was the champion, and weakened? You ended up screwing yourself, and you screwed me. You're an idiot. Maybe I need to revisit this leaving the company thing. Maybe I should leave for nine years and get a hero's reception for coming back. So out came Punk, and he said it's Piper country here. And, you know, he I was knew, known I for knew talking. He was gonna, I knew he was going to reference Piper. He was known for talking. I'm known for talking. But you, you're known for talking. Why don't you just talk a little bit? So Drew says, well, first off, congratulations. It's been a month, and you're still here. I have a bet with some guys in the back that you're going to crash and burn and self-destruct, and you're costing people a lot of money the longer you stick around. So maybe you and Seth have more in common than you think. I know the real CM Punk. I know what you're really like. I could go on for hours, but I'll just say one thing. You were a champion back in the day. You referred to yourself as the leader. You actually walked into the locker room and said, the locker room leader is here. And I needed a leader at the time. I was a kid with personal issues. Career was in a tailspin. I could have used a real leader, but you saw me as a threat, and it was never going to happen. Randy couldn't help me. He had his demons, but you're straight edge. You don't have demons, but you are a demon. But once I got fired, I figured out myself, became the man I am today, and you've been gone for nine years, so I'm your leader now, kid. And so Punk says, well, call myself a lot of things in life, but never a leader. I led by example. He says... He, you, he used to call himself a leader. I've heard that one before. Well, he says he didn't. Okay. He's got a lot of... Uh, stop him when he's telling a lie, Dave. Well, he never sold out Budokan, that's for sure. Says, if I'm not a leader, who did you watch walk out of the company? And who did I watch walk back in, bigger, stronger, faster? So you follow my lead on the way out, I'm going to follow your lead on the way back in. I'm going to win the Rumble, main event mania, and you're upset about it like Seth? He says, I can be Satan himself. If you're one of the guys who saw that side of me, that says more about you than it does about me. Because <laughs> I'm a real nice guy until it's time not to be, and it looks like it's getting to be that time. I'm not here to make friends. I'm here to win the Rumble and headline Mania. So Drew says, well, you know, I've won the Rumble. I've main evented Mania, something you've never done. And the world shut down, and they needed somebody to step up, and I did it. Had you been here, you probably would have walked home too. Because when the going gets tough, punk gets going. So I'm going to be in the Rumble. If you're in there, I'm going to eliminate you. I'll go back to the main event of Mania, win the title in front of the fans, and this time it's going to be for me. He got a big baby face pop for that one. Yeah. And Punk says, well, I'm going to lead by example and walk away before I knock your teeth down your throat. There's only one person that can stop me. That's me. I got out of my way a long time ago, he said. Nobody can stop me from winning the Rumble, leader to leader, because I'm such a nice guy. I'm going to throw you out last. A lot of insider stuff here in these promos. I guess so. Yes, there was. Mm -hmm. So well, obviously. Punk's probably winning the Rumble. Well, it's Punk or Cody, I think. I don't think it's going to be Cody. We shall see. I mean, it could be, but I I don't think so. I mean, here's the deal. I guess, I guess it's either way, but they're already building up Seth and, and Punk. I mean, yeah. Punk doesn't need to win the Rumble to get a match against Seth Rollins. But it, at, you, ma at Mania, he would. There needs to be a storyline reason that Cody is getting another shot against Roman Reigns. Yes. So, so he could win the Elimination Chamber. I guess he could. I guess you've got yeah. both. Yeah. But he may not get the shot. It may be Dwayne. Mm. Well, I guess we'll see now, won't we? Yeah. Ciampa versus Finn Balor. Good match. A uh, bunch of interference at the end. Finn and uh, Priest and... Gargano all got involved. None of this was DQ. And then Finn tried to suplex him in from the apron. Johnny grabbed the leg. Ciampa fell on top for the pin. Next week, tag title match. No, DIY tag, versus... Isn't isn't DIY against Dominic and, and uh, JD? I think uh, Dominic and JD... Where's the lineup I had right here? Hold on, I got the lineup. Be, uh, Dominic and JD versus Miz and Truth. That's what I've got right. here. Um, Miz and Truth versus Balor and Priest non-title. Dominic and JD versus um, 
uh, Gargano and Ciampa. How do we have two completely different lineups right here? No, because because um, Gargano and Ciampa have to be Dominic and JD, and then they'll probably get a title. Who's shot. in charge of the front page today? That's two now. Yeah, we got the New Japan lineups backwards, and we got these two backwards. Yeah. All right. Well, if you say so. Yeah. Jack interviewed Becky, who was very disappointed, and she said, "The last time you punched me in the face, I ended up in the hospital." But I came back to win the Rumble. This time you punched me in the face, I didn't go to the hospital. In fact, I'm back, and uh, that means either I'm stronger or you're weaker. And one way or the other, I'm going to win the Royal Rumble. Ludwig Kaiser, Kofi Kingston. So, uh, Vinci, despite saying he was okay after the match last week, he was not all right. He's in concussion yeah. protocol. He's going to be out yeah. for a while. So, they had a match, and Kaiser is very upset, and they... Uh, they had the stupidest finish. It was I mean, just double count out. It's, uh, well, it was stupid because I've seen this a thousand times in WWE where the referee's counting and the guy dives in and he makes it in at the last second. Well, the referee's counting and Kofi literally dove in. He's halfway in the ring. Like his upper body is underneath the ropes. And the ref's like, nah, he didn't make it. Ten. And he rings the bell. And Kofi's like, what are you talking about? And there's a big argument and then... Kaiser he ends up uh, diving onto Kaiser, and they get in a brawl, and Kaiser throws a chair at his face, and Kofi sells it big. Knocks and him out. Kaiser's beating on him, and the, they send all the geeks down to break it up. So Kaiser's finally leaving, but he gets halfway up the aisle, and he takes off, and he runs, and he drop kicks Kofi's head into the steps. They played it up as a big-time injury angle, and uh, given the number of people out there trying to break it up, I mean... The very least, there should have been like a storyline suspension or something, but nope. Well, I mean, the whole idea, the whole gimmick was is that Kaiser said that you know you took out Vinci uh, by taking out his head, so I'm taking out your head. That's what he did. Essentially, so essentially, that was the they, never, they never used they, they never used the term concussion. They used no, taking take taking out your head. He took out his head. So that's the new. Is that the new term? Well, I mean, that is for today. You know, they don't like to use that term uh, concussion. You know. That's yeah. kind of that's not in their protocol. Yeah, yeah, concussion and uh, yeah, that's not one of them. Yeah. Alrighty, then we had uh, Cole interviewing Nia Jax. He says, "Why does everyone say yesterday last week's win was shocking? I wasn't shocked. I'd beat her again." And she says, "I'm going to go through 29 women at the Rumble, earn my shot at WrestleMania. There's not a man or a woman who can stop me." So out comes Rhea. And they get in each other's face. And Rhea says, you know, you beat Becky last week, but Becky is not Rhea Ripley. So until you want to step up to me, stop walking around like you own the place because you don't. I'm gonna w- If you manage to win the Rumble, she says, it's best to keep my name out of your mouth. So Nia says, I'll give you credit. Probably the most dominant champion in history. But don't forget I put you on your ass when I came back. The only reason I'm not holding the title is you're too scared to face me one-on-one. So I'm going to win the Rumble... And then I'm going to choose you. So that's their tease for a Mania match. I can't imagine that's the Mania match. I hope not. I cannot imagine. Yeah. So Cody has an interview backstage, and he gets jumped by Nakamura. And Adam Pearce is right there to break it up. Where was this guy 10 minutes ago when Kaiser was beating on Kofi for 30 straight minutes? He was he was uh, on the phone. He was nowhere to be seen, is where he was. Dwayne called him. Said, "What what night's my title shot?" He had to, he couldn't come out. Well, do we get an answer yet? What night is his title shot? I don't have an answer. I mm. don't know. Mm. I don't know. All right, then we had uh, the rematch: Katana and Caden versus Chelsea and Piper, tag title rematch. I actually thought this was better than the match where they won the title. Oh, yeah, yeah. It was better. It, it was a long it was, time. It was, it was reasonably entertaining. Yeah, they had some cool stuff at the end. Uh, yeah. They had uh, Katana hitting a Frankensteiner onto Chelsea off yeah, Cade's super, shoulders. Super, super Frankensteiner. Yeah, that was really good. That was yeah. really good. Well, could, she's really talented. They could do a lot with her. She's got charisma, too. I don't know what it is where, you know, she's kind of hidden in this tag team. Um, but... You know, I guess that they just maybe feel that uh, she needs to be a tag team wrestler. Hey, if you love this clip, have I got a deal for you. WrestlingObserver.com. Do you have a commute? Do you work out at the gym? 
Do you like listening to audio on your headphones or your earbuds or whatever the kids use today? Well, WrestlingObserver.com will give you all the audio you'll ever need in your life. Over 15,000 audio shows. Every audio show that we have ever done, dating back to 2005, is available for subscribers at WrestlingObserver.com. Every time a new show comes out, you can podcast it directly to your phone. If you have a commute, as noted, if you go to the gym, if you like to lift weights and listen to Granny review soap operas, well, WrestlingObserver.com gets you full access to all of these shows and all of these archives. You can go back and listen to TNA reviews from 2010. You can go back and listen to reviews of every WWE pay-per-view, every big story that's ever happened in wrestling. You can get access to that at WrestlingObserver.com. Plus, full access to the Wrestling Observer newsletter every week. 40,000 words of news and information in pro wrestling. Why get all your scoops off Reddit, which aren't even accurate most of the time? Go right to the source, the Wrestling Observer Newsletter. You also get Observer Archives dating back to 1990. So check it out today. Thousands of issues of the Wrestling Observer Newsletter. Tens of thousands of hours of audio. All for $12.99 per month or as low as $9.99 if you sign up for a year. You'll never, you'll never run out of audio if you subscribe to WrestlingObserver.com. So head up there, check it out today, and I'll talk to you again after a while.